So the goal today is to show you guys quickly how to make proportional symbol maps in ArcGIS. And for those of you in my 365 course, Fall 2014, I apologize that I presumed you knew how to do this, but luckily it's not that hard. So um, the first thing you need to do is I have um, population data here for the state of Virginia, my new homeland, if you will. And basically we're going to create a proportional symbol map the same way we'd make a, a coral pleth map. We'll double click on the layer and under quantiles we will go to instead of graduated colors we can go to graduated symbols which will give us range graded symbols based on a classification scheme or we can go to proportional symbols which is mathematical uh, proportion. So we will pick a an attribute and I'll pick population 2012 background color what this is is what color would you like the background of the counties to be not dark blue and anyone who knows me knows that I will probably shoot for a relatively light gray here an outline color let's go white and then what we need to do is we need to figure out our our symbol and you can edit the symbol by clicking on the minimum value. So this is the size of the circle for the minimum value, and this is the um, area or size of the circle for the maximum value in our data set. So let's click on this. The smallest size is two. That's a bit small, but we don't want the big one to get too huge. Let's go three, though. And I'm not a huge fan of, of whatever that is, whatever color that is. Let's go dark purple. Go JMU. Dukes or whatever. All right, let's just hit apply and see what happens. There we go. We have some really heinous looking proportional circles. And as you can see with Virginia, this this is a very difficult uh, you're mapping population in Virginia with proportional circles probably isn't going to work that well because the entire population lives in tiny counties up here um, in, in northern Virginia and around Richmond and what's that Charlottesville? I don't even know what that is. So there's quite a bit of a dichotomy here. One thing you could do, of course, is instead then map uh, population per square mile. Let's see how that changes this. Is that, or is that what I mapped? Now I'm getting confused. Let's hit apply. Okay, let's just do population. Slightly smaller. So actually, I, I accidentally did population per square mile. Here we have just straight up population makes it a bit more clear. Still pretty bunched here. You could do an inset map of this region, um, a detail map, and make it better. Now, these black outlines are pretty heinous, so how can we fix that? Let's go and click on minimum value again, and here is where you can hit edit symbol. And in the edit symbol section, we can change the outline color. And we can also change the shape. We can make them squares, which well, I don't know if you'd want to do that. Let's try it. Um, or, you know, you can also change the color here. I don't know what adding a halo would do, but that, that gets a little complex. Okay, now, let's say that we actually wanted, we didn't want uh, squares or circles, but we wanted Tom York's head to symbolize population in Virginia. How could we do this? I'm going to go back out just to go from the get-go. So here we are. We have this proportional symbol map. Let's do this. Let's double click again and get to the symbology section. Come on, ArcMap. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. So under proportional symbols again, we're going to click on minimum value. We're going to go to edit symbol. And up here, instead of simple marker symbol, we're going to click here and we can make a 3D character symbol, blah, blah, blah. Highly recommend not doing 3D unless you have to. But picture mark marker symbol, very easy to miss. But let's click on this, and we'll get a dialogue saying, hey, pick a picture. All right, I will. Let's pick Tom York's head. This is the clean, young Tom York, as opposed to the drugged out, kind of scary, dirty old man looking Tom York lives today. So there you go. We see Tommy York's head. That's good. Let's hit OK. Um, let's hit OK. And now we can see that this is how big his head is going to be. That might be a little too big, so we'll make this a size 3. 
That's a little small. Four. That's still small, but those counties, whatever. All right, so let's hit apply. And voila, you have Tom York's head. Now, one warning. Picture symbols are awesome, given a particular map. So if I was mapping fans of Tom York by county across Virginia, Tom York's head makes sense. But if you want your map to look, um, I don't know, what would you say, more authoritative or professional, you probably don't want to use that. You want to use a geometric symbol. At the same time, if you're making a map about bands or music or something hip, go for it. Um, it'll elicit map reader excitement and basically make for a more interesting map and quite frankly but you know, mapping population with Tom York's head makes absolutely no sense but it was fun to do all right so that's it for now I will also uh, shortly record a demo um, showing you how to create basically circular picto pictographs or pictures in Photoshop so you can create shapes that are, are less bulky all right have fun. Thanks for watching.